At first I said that I love you and you ain't say that shit back It's kinda hard to just trust you when both your feelings don't match Got me showing less emotions, I don't wanna get attached Once I give you my word, I swear it ain't no going back Once I give you my heart, you better keep that shit intact and welcome back to my channel if you're new I'm Elise S and if you're not thank you so much for coming back I'm finally filming the video you guys have been asking for for months and when I mean months I mean not just in my comment section but in my Instagram DMs begging for this video but the barn is finally done and we are gonna give you a full barn tour today so we're starting outside the front um, if you watch haven't watched my last video go check it out because we did these plant pots which was quite funny but these are our lovely front doors, and we're going to go in through these. Too, so we can just put the feed back straight into here and they will be safe and then we have these shelves that were actually made out of like wood that we didn't use for the barn so we can keep some medical supplies in here and then that's just like our lighting and tech stuff I don't know I'm not the person to ask for that but we're gonna go ahead and close that so we're gonna go all the way over here and start this is one edge of the barn so these doors actually open up all the way but it is cold and windy so we're going to shut them and throughout the whole barn you'll see we have all black accents with this really light stain and then this is actually really thick glass um we had to have it like cut three different times because it didn't fit and we had to get the special glass to make sure that it wouldn't break if a horse like kicked it or whatever um so behind me you're going to see our wash rack it's pretty much just a wash rack. We have the things to hang our cross ties from um, and a hose obviously with hot and cold water. And then also from last video, we bought a rake and you know, the shovel and the mucking out bucket and we just put that in here for now. And my dad hung this handy dandy supplies holder. The other thing you're gonna see throughout the barn is that each stall has these v things in but we have all the shutters shut because it is super windy here today and we live on a hill so it would not only be cold in here but you would not be able to hear me so directly across from the wash rack we have our first stall um we have a custom name place for each of our horses so they each have one this is patents obviously um stalls all have this little latch so you can just push that up and we wanted this low like type of stall so the horses can look out all the time, especially because all the ones that are gonna be here are retired. So they just slide open. Um, 
apparently these were the first doors this company had made like this because most of the time with this slope they open outwards but i do not really like those because the horses always stand in the way waiting for a treat and then it's a big ordeal so that's that three of the four stalls are standard size which is 12 by 12 feet so that's what this one is we went ahead and put in these custom little loops that we can hang hay nets off of because obviously we don't have bars in between the stalls and then for everyone who's going to ask we just have normal buckets for the water um for the water buckets we don't have refillable ones but we do have something cool for that outside of the stall we have these things that are a little stiff right now so they open up and then each stall has its own individual little hose so you can literally just go over here and fill it up and then close it so you don't have to get the hose and plug it up and drag it over really simple really easy but then we can do it ourselves each stall also has one of these racks to put their sheets and blankets on i know they look kind of funny now because they're sticking out but by the time you put on a sheet and a blanket they will um be very full okay so moving along this will be chino's stall one day i know everyone keeps asking if he's coming home but he's not because i still want to show chino and he still wants to show and he likes his job and he's pretty young guys but this will be his stall one day if you can see this stall has two windows and that's actually because this stall is a massive stall it's 12 by 14 feet and the reason we had to do that is because we wanted the tack room and the feed room on the other side so it kind of had to match on each side um, but same thing with the hoses and stuff the other thing i was going to point out is each stall has its own individual fan so in the summer they will uh stay cool and then last but not least this side we have another 12 by 12 stall which will be nick's stall and of course he has the nice name plate there and on the other side we have angelo's stall which is pretty much the same also if you go ahead and look up on both sides we have storage we also have security cameras on either side so just in case any of you are thinking about breaking into the barn just know it's not gonna happen okay so we're gonna make our way to the other side and to go out through these doors not only do we have to do the barn but we did a lot of landscaping because one, we wanted it to look nice. Two, we have a master escape artist, Patton. And we had to make sure he couldn't get out. So if you come out here, you're gonna see my house is in the background. This is like on the right back side of my house. But we have a fence and a gate, which I showed you over there. So if you come out, you see these steps. That leads you up to my actual backyard, but we're not gonna go up there. Um, if you look around here, it is fully gravel all the way around. And it leads you to our back porch, which I'm sure eventually we'll have chairs and stuff on so you can sit there and watch. But the whole idea is that the driveway from that gate back there, you can drive all the way around here. So if you had to unload stuff, it makes it really easy. We uh, put in two bucking pastures, which are basically just smaller pastures right here that the horses can go out in. And then over here, we have our main gate which leads you to our main fields in the back. Um, as you can see, we put in a ton of trees. They obviously have to grow up, but it will look very beautiful when they do. Also, what we had to do is fence in our little shed back there with all our wood, because once again, my horses are naughty and they will be right up in your business if you don't do something about it. So, Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed the barn tour. I know it's not super big or anything, but you've been dying to see it. Um, also for anybody who's asking, Angelo and Patton are the horses coming home and also Nick. I will explain that in another video, but they will all three be coming home after spring break. So a couple weeks into April. So stay tuned for that and the videos of me putting all our stuff away. But before you leave, I have bucket hats now. It's coming up on spring break in summer and I figured everyone could use a good bucket hat when they're at the beach. So if you wanna check them out, I will put it down in the description below. But thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all very soon. Bye. Yeah. I'm two strong-minded individuals. What happen when y'all both reach the pinnacle? Things start to get physical. What make it worse?